at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Freedom at last. Trans WNBA star. Lashia Clarendon announces they have undergone top surgery to remove their breasts. They're saying they... I don't know what that means. It seems like there's only one person here. Lashia Clarendon announced they had their breasts removed on January 13th. The New York Liberty shooting guard also identifies as trans and non-binary. They shared the news on social media with photos taken after the procedure. Sigh, freedom at last, Clarendon said in an Instagram post on Friday. As I said before, anytime I cover this topic, I don't delve into this area of humanity. It's not something I choose to explore at all. So non-binary, trans, all these different types of sexualities people claim, I just don't go there. It doesn't pertain to me. I know nothing about it. So if you're out there, and you're some trans individual, perhaps as we're reading through this, you can tell me a little something about some questions I might have. New York Liberty Guard Leisha Clarendon, who's non-binary and trans, has announced they have undergone top surgery to remove their breasts. The WNBA star shared the news on social media Friday, along with photos taken after the procedure, which they revealed took place earlier this month. On January 13th at 10 a.m., I hugged my wife in front of my surgery building, walked in, took a deep breath. The day was finally here, the day I got to have top surgery. Clarendon wrote in an Instagram post, you know, interesting question. I just thought of this as we're reading through this, but if you're telling me somebody's non-binary and they married somebody that is, you see the photos there, that somebody's their wife, so to speak, it seems interesting that you don't want to be labeled a certain gender, but labeling somebody as a wife generally is associated with a female. So it seems a little bit strange that this individual wants to be known as a they, but still uses labels for other things. Strange, I guess it makes sense in a way. You don't know how their wife feels about this, but let's read a little bit more about this. It's hard to put into words the feeling of seeing my chest for the first time, free of breasts, seeing my chest the way I've always seen it, and feeling a sense of gender euphoria as opposed to gender dysphoria. Sigh. Freedom. Freedom at last. And again, the interesting question is, if you don't see yourself as one or the other, then what does it matter if you have breasts or not, I guess would be my question. Clarendon has been generally open about their identity, but admitted they felt apprehensive about disclosing the news due to the amount of hate, myths, and ignorance. I want trans people to know and see that we've always existed and no one can erase us. I want people to remember that my freedom is your freedom because none of us is free until we are all free. They added, hmm, seems like I've heard that line used somewhere before. Hmm. I always find it interesting that individuals, whenever they come out, it seems like whenever somebody comes out with something, no matter what it is, they always take on this role of some kind of superhero. I just find that interesting that they are fighting against something and then overcoming the WNBA, the Players' Union and the New York Liberty later released statements offering support to Clarendon. The Shia story is one of inspiration and courage. And as a takeaway from the emotional conversation we shared recently, my hope is that the WNBA's full support will extend far beyond the league, WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert said. We're so proud that Lashia, I think I might have pronounced that name wrong a couple times, is part of the WNBA, and we know that their voice and continued advocacy will not only support and help honor and uplift many other non-binary and trans people, but also encourage empathy and understanding for the community across all levels 
of sport. There is this individual there that's said to be Clarendon's wife. The couple had their first child together in December. Not exactly sure how... You know, something just hit me. Jessica Dolan? Isn't James Dolan the owner of the Knicks? Is he still own the Knicks? I haven't kept up with the NBA in some time, but is that his daughter? Hmm. It'd be interesting, right? I guess she does play in New York, so probably not like there's not any other Dolans in New York. Interesting how they said they had their first child together. So am I mistaking something here? Is one of these individuals a biological male? So they're saying they had their first child. Obviously, to have a child, man and a woman and everything, biology being what it is. So was Clarendon a biological male? I don't know. Not familiar with the person. Let's read a little bit more and see if we can find out. The eight-year veteran of the WNBA averaged a career-best 11.5 points for New York last season. Clarendon wrote in the Players' Tribune five years ago, they identify as black, gay, female, non-cisgender, and Christian and expanded on their identity in an Instagram post in December. Existing outside of the binary for me is freedom. Clarendon wrote, I've learned that my gender just doesn't fit into these molds that keep trying to hold it down and box it in. I know that my gender will keep evolving because we change and grow and shape, shift, and expand. Shape, shift, and expand. Should there be a comma in there somewhere? And shape, comma, shift, and expand? Or is she saying that she, gender is shape shifting? Is is that what she's saying? I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I know that as non-binary poet, Andrea Gibson says, my pronouns haven't even been identified yet. I know that we all have masculinity and femininity inside of us, and minds show up equally and wholly and fully. Clarendon has been married to wife Jessica Dolan since 2017. The couple had their first child together in December. Well, that's the story. <laughs> it just wrapped up there. There was no other information. Well, let's read the comment here real quick. I wish I understood this more, but it is such a complex subject, and just knowing what I am in terms of gender makes it difficult to fathom anything else. It's not that I disagree, I just don't understand. Nevertheless... I wish anyone well who goes through this. It can't be easy. And I hope those people find their path of content and happiness eventually. So it's like I always say, and what I said at the beginning of the video, I know nothing about it. It's a current event. It's something different than the usual thing that's been going on all week long. So try to find different things to talk about. I don't like to sit here and talk about COVID all the time or Trump or Biden. Stuff kind of gets boring if you talk about it day after day. I always say this, if you have an individual who is willing to go all the way, go the distance, feel the dreams line, but if you have somebody that's really willing to go the distance for whatever they believe they are, and it's not a situation where you had like that GameStop clip that I talked about a long time ago, where you had that individual who was like six foot four and 250 pounds, who's saying, it's ma'am. It's ma'am, who basically, due to its size, was in there, I would say, intimidating or scaring the living heck out of that kid in GameStop. That worker couldn't have been more than early 20s. To have somebody that big coming at you, there's that, and then there's other things, and 50 million other things. But if somebody's willing to go all the way with it, if they're not somebody who, let's say they were born a male and they just grow their hair out and try to compete in track against other females eh. but if you're somebody who's out there willing to chop off some things chop off something down there or add some things down there that's somebody that you can say what you want about them but one thing you can't question is here and in here their dedication to they're feeling that they are what they think they are, that they're living that life. And there's no halfway about it. When you're getting stuff chopped off and stuff added, you're definitely somebody who I can say, hey, I don't understand. I don't, you know, I'm, I know what's going on with me, but 
if you're willing to go the distance like this individual, then all you can really say is they're putting their money where their mouth is in a way. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching the video and be well, everyone.